Playoffs? We're talking playoffs. You know, that never that never gets old, George. The, never gets the uh, old. Jim Mora impersonations. Welcome into the Sporting News Studios for Ram Fantasy Update. My name is Tom Vandervoort with Sporting News Fantasy Source expert George Winkler. And we are talking about fantasy playoffs because they do tend to start this week, right? Yeah, week 14 is fantasy playoff time, and we sit there at our desks avoiding work, running scenarios through our heads over and over again. What's going to be the perfect lineup that's going to boost us to the top? Okay, so what is the best place to start strategy-wise for the fantasy playoffs? Well, just dance with the girl you brought or the guy you brought okay. or however that goes for you. And don't try to get too cute because, you know, like I said, we do like to tinker. And you'll sit there and, and do these scenarios. And really, you should just go with your stud players. They're the guys who have proven over the course of the season and their careers that they can get it done at any time of the season, especially in the playoffs. So you're essentially playing the percentages if you do that, right? You're not, trying to, you're not outthinking yourself. You're not outthinking yourself. One area where I think you could do that is you can look at your opponent's roster and try to guess what he's going to do on the waiver wire this week. And try to make a preemptive move to pick up the player he might be interested in. That's uh, one piece of advice that I, I give to people at this time of the season. I think it's fair play. Don't worry about it. It feels a little bit dirty, but if you have that uh, extra roster space, it's definitely worth trying that. Okay, now how about matchups coming down the stretch here in teams? Well, the Patriots have some tough matchups coming up. They have the Houston Texans and then the San Francisco 49ers after that. So. Um, borderline starters like Steven Ridley, you might want to consider some other options. Um, Tom Brady, like you're I gonna said. You're going to play Tom Brady. <laughs> you're going to play Tom Brady. You're probably going to play. That would definitely be outthinking yourself. That would be outthinking <laughs> yourself right there. So the Patriots have a tough road. Um, their defense has been really good up to this point, a good sleeper, but you might want to start shopping around for an alternative with this stretch coming up. Okay, now speaking of sleepers, who you got for us this week, George? I like uh, Matt Schaub of the Houston Texans. He's going against those Patriots. The Patriots' defense has been bad against the pass this, this year, and you know I think this is going to come down to those quarterbacks duking it out, and Houston's really trying to sew up home field advantage throughout the playoffs. So if you have a guy like Phillip Rivers, who's kind of a mid-range quarterback, not doing too well, uh, you might want to think about picking up Schaub and going with him this week. All right, there you go. That has been a Ram Fantasy Update. But I would be remiss, sports fans, if I didn't say to George Winkler, thank you for 16 years of service here at Sporting News. You, sir, are moving on to greener pastures. Well, I don't know about greener pastures. A different pasture, Sporting at least. Been very, it's a pretty green pasture right here. It's been a very nice pasture for me for 16 years. And uh, just thank you to everybody for your support. And Continue to look to Sporting News because the guys on staff here are great and they're going to give you some great advice. Well, you, you ran Sporting News Fantasy Source, George, for the last however many years, so uh, I think you've trained them well. I think they'll, they can spread their wings now and fly without you. They can get some fresh ideas now. There you go. <laughs> All right, that's George Winkler. I'm Tom Vandervoort. Thanks once again for watching Ram Fantasy Update.